grab. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Still in Cambodia, Phnom Penh, and I'm headed to Egan Mall for some quick lunch and probably some groceries. So yeah, that's where we're going. So if you notice, uh, Phnom Penh right now is pretty much quite empty, even on the like 12 noon. It's simply because it's their Khmer New Year, so everybody's not in the city, more like in the provinces. So that is why it's kind of like empty and it's hot too, so that's probably why. People are on a holiday in the provinces. So it's pretty much empty right now. I got a caramel uh, macchiato. Tall. I'm making this video not to bash on women or to hate on women. I love women. It's a video, just the purpose of this video is basically to let guys know what to be careful about, what signs to look for. Alright, so the purpose of this video is basically for those good men who really have good intention towards women and I want them not to get played emotionally, financially, physically and you know, cause them to be drained at the end of the day. Because I know a lot of a lot of men who are really good with their intentions, and they only want love and to provide women. So I just want them not to simp on a woman, especially if they're already established financially. That they have the option to leave if they're not comfortable. All right, but before all of that, I'll just finish my coffee. All right. So before we actually start with the with the conversation, fuel for the body first. Alright, so right now, I'm currently at a department store because I'm looking for a smart bulb but it seems like I'm having a hard time looking for it. Man, I wanted my room to have different colors for different moods so that's what I'm trying to look for but it's kind of hard. But let's not give up. Alright, so we are on the other side of the river here in Phnom Penh and um, I'm going to talk about the, the topic later on when I get home, but I just want to show you the area because I feel like it's a spot where you need to come out and relax and chill and get unwind and see this the other side of Cambodia. So that's the river. I don't know why my fat ass can't stay away from sweets, but this is the wave, my boy. And of course, some steak for today. You know, calm. So I'm making this video to help men out there because I feel like I have been in a very, very toxic relationship. And especially when you simp so hard for a woman, which I am very, very um, guilty about and of doing. I feel like if you simp, especially to someone toxic, it's not really going to be a good look for you. So I'm trying to give you some tips on how to smell or how to like spot women who are toxic from a mile away. And I want men to basically keep away from these women because they will never add value to your life and they will constantly be a liability and will bring you down in so many facets in your life. You will never improve, you will never progress and you will stay stuck because this woman will always keep you stuck. So let's get into the topic. One surefire way of spotting a, a toxic woman is if when she blames you for everything and she never blames herself for anything that she has done meaning she has no accountability 
anything that goes wrong with her in your relationship with her life it all boils down to what you could have done right what you could have done better so it's never about what she could have done better for herself but it's always about she always put that on your shoulders so it you could just imagine how burdening it is and heavy on your shoulders so you better watch out for these type of women all right so right now we are in odom garden cafe here in cambodia so pretty look at this awesome sign is that she will always try to press you in certain situations, certain topics, especially um, about you know other women, if you're cheating or not, if you're lying or not. She will constantly do that to you, so that's a surefire way of telling if she's toxic or not. Oh wow. Here in the Odom Garden, they also have um, seesaw for little kids, which is awesome. Look at this place. It's really nice. Kid friendly and overall good aesthetic. Um, design so another way of identifying these types of women is um she's constantly jealous regardless whatever the situation is if she's a friend of yours she will think that something's going on between you guys and there's some um, attraction between you guys or that you have been constantly thinking about maybe pursuing a romantic relationship with your female friend which is probably highly unlikely and if she does that i'm, I'm telling you guys Usually when women do this to you, the jealous ones, if they constantly press you of cheating, guess what? They're probably doing it too. So they have what they call here a foot bath. It's ashiyu. It's a Japanese concept where you take off your shoe and put your feet. It's said to relax your feet after long walks and play. So gotta enjoy one of these. So one of the classic dead giveaway is if when she talks about you to other people, about your relationship, about basically she tells on you. You know, when things go wrong in your relationship, she always makes up stories, especially, this is my favorite, she will always make up stories to make you look bad to other people, post it on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and just talk shit about you, about your character, about you as a person. And trust me, she will never, ever, ever have boundaries to whatever she's going to say. She's going to say the meanest, nastiest thing about you to your friends, to her friends, to her family, to your family. She's out to destroy your character for sure. You really, really better protect yourself and never, ever look past the red flags. Never, ever look past the red flags. Red flags are there for a reason, so you really have to pay attention to it. Alright, so I'm now back at the apartment and I'm gonna go ahead to the gym first and then we continue this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, coming in yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Big been dope on flame, I just switched the lanes Damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything Swimming you shaking away, cause I got right, big So going back to the topic um, Another dead giveaway is When she says that you're gaslighting her But in fact she's the one gaslighting you That's very very classic Gaslighting is really a part of the repertoire they're really good at it, so imagine them saying, oh my god, you're gaslighting me, when in fact they're the ones doing the gaslighting, so that's very, very crucial. And this one giveaway as well, dead giveaway for sure, if you have to constantly, you have to constantly prove to her by a text messages, by a, by a photos, by a videos, that you have done nothing wrong, imagine if you have to constantly do that. Imagine if you have to constantly do that, that's very, very tiring, that's very, very toxic. You don't want to be in that kind of relationship, trust me. Trust me. I've been through it. It wasn't pleasant. 
it wasn't fun at all and it wasn't ideal. So please my guy, do yourself a favor. Do not look past the red flags. When you see it, leave. Regardless how good looking she is, regardless how sexy she is, regardless how good the sex is, trust me, you don't want any part of that. I have been through it and it wasn't really, you know, I've, I've been a simp, to be honest, because of how she's really very pretty. But then again, the quality of life wasn't really fun, it wasn't really, I have isolated myself from my friends and family and it wasn't really as, as dandy and, and, and it wasn't all that. It's nice to have a really pretty woman beside you, but then again, if you don't grow, if you don't, if you're not comfortable in so many ways, then it's best you leave. And by the way, after you have broken up, she will always come back to hoover you. She will always constantly try to message you, email you, call you, even when she blocks you. She blocks you, but then she messages you out of nowhere, she calls you out of nowhere. Just to check how you are, I guess. You just have to check if you're doing well in life. Well, especially when she sees when she sees you're doing well, she will try to come back, trying to ruin things for you. All right, you guys. So basically, that's it. Just take care of yourself. Look out for yourself. Never ever you know, look past the red flags. Like I said, always protect your peace. Guard your peace. Because, trust me, you don't want to share your life with someone who's not going to add anything to your life. I swear. I can go on and on and on, but I don't want to put women in a bad light because there are so many good women. There are so many good women out there, but I really just wanted to tell you guys that you really have to be aware. Because, man, life is really... The game... Life is really funny. Life is really shady. Life is really cruel. Like I said about the Hoover, you know, when you're broken up already, she will always try to see how you are. And anytime she find a crack in your armor that she can penetrate in, you know, best believe she will really try to squeeze herself into your life. She will really squeeze herself back into your life. So I'm the kind of guy who um, who loves women, who respects people. But imagine, you know, being called out and and constantly have to try to defend yourself, especially your character. If people are out there trying to ruin your character and you know that all that, then it, uh, it's not really good to be in that situation. It's not really good to be in that in that relationship because it's not even a relationship to begin with. Another thing, you know, cheating. Cheating is a big thing in this thing. They will always say that you're, you're cheating, and it really gets tiring. It really gets you know your mental state is always conflicted. Especially when you find out that she's the one doing it behind your back. And not just with one guy, but with so many, you know, multiple guys. What I'm saying is that at the end of the day, work on yourself. Work on yourself. Get your get your money. Work out your life. Get your job right. Get your life right. And all, all of these things will come. Women will come. Love will find you. Everything has its place. The best way to go about this is to work on yourself, really. And everything will fall into place. Hopefully this information will help you guys because it's really been a rough... You know, a year and a half for me dealing with all these things. But one thing I'm really happy and, and, and thankful about is I learned so much. I know. I know toxic. I cannot confidently identify toxic women and not get myself into toxic relationships anymore. So, and I think that's one of the good things that I can take away from all this. You know, being able to, you know, know what I want, know what I need, and know what I want to have in a relationship. So that's it, man. I hope you learned something. I hope you have a good one and uh, be safe out there.